Hi everybody, welcome back. We're looking today at Jeremy Duff, Elements of New Testament Greek, looking at section 5.2 on the attributive use of adjectives. Now, if this causes a little flicker of deja vu, then same here. The reason I'm including this is because in the previous video on section 5.2, I realized I missed something out that is very, very simple, but I wanted to include it just to uh, complete the section so that you don't think, what's going on here? Have you got something wrong? You haven't got anything wrong. I did, I missed it out, and this is me filling in the gap. So in the previous video, we looked at how to use the adjective attributively when the article, definite article in English, or just the article in Greek is present. So the good man uh, translates into Greek as uh, the good man, ho agathos anthropos, as if, in, if it's in the nominative, uh, or literally the man, the good. And those are the two word orders I encouraged you to remember. Think about that literally uh, glossing it in English and it will help you to recognize it in Greek. So when you think the good man, think the good man or the man, the good. That's how to write it with the article. So how do you write it if instead of wanting to write the good man, you want to write simply a good man? The answer is I hope this is obvious. Plink, plonk, plunk. A good man or a man good. Very simple. Really is as simple as that. Notice that the word order can be either way round. And notice also what we've no, uh, we recognised before. There is no indefinite article in Greek. A good man or just good man are written the same and context will help you to determine which is which. In this case, obviously, it's agathos, anthropos is a good man, anthropos, agathos is a good man. And obviously, if it's uh, performing a different function in the sentence, if it's the object of a verb rather than the subject, then you can just decline uh, the, the noun and you'll decline the adjective as well. And again, another quick reminder, if it's something feminine, for example, suppose it's Instead of a good man, it's uh, a good sister, Adele Fenn. Imagine it's the good sister who is the object of a verb. Then you're going to conjugate, sorry, decline. What am I talking about? The adjective. <laughs> and you're going to write it more neatly than me. Goodness gracious, what is it doing here? Ad ad Agathen, Adelphen, you're going to uh, decline the adjective appropriately by number, by case, and by gender. Okay, that's all for now. That's the last little bit in section 5.2. Uh, remember, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. Keep going five or six days a week, and we'll have you reading the New Testament in Greek in no time at all. Bye for now.